I can tell you how we're looking at the world. Okay. And it's really about, um, you know, the Fed, it can be about the Fed if they overshoot. We don't believe they have to raise once this year and three times next year. They can raise in December. They can raise once or twice next year and, and pause. When you think about the, so the, the first half of October, that drawdown was associated with concerns that rates were rising and we're a long way from neutral and the term premiums correcting. Second half of October and more recently, it's all been about growth concerns, problems in the housing market. People aren't buying enough autos. Banks are being shot because there's not enough kind of consumer credit being generated. Those are the concerns associated with slower growth, which gives the Fed the kind of latitude to move once, twice, right. pause, take a look. That, that actually is taking some of the excesses out of the system that could potentially you know, extend this cycle. So the big question is, is this about a growth slowdown normalization, really, or is this really a growth crash? And that's the big critical question. What do you think the answer is? You know, we're leaning towards and we're leaning into this volatility based on the notion that it's a slowdown and a normalization as opposed to an all out crash. But but it is time to be cautious. I mean, there's no doubt about that, because what's going on in China is critical. You know, are they going to pivot towards enough stimulus to avoid a hard landing there? And is the Fed going to make a policy mistake? I mean, those are two very critical variables. And at the same time, you're in an environment where you're not getting the kind of benefit from traditional diversification you used to get. In February and October of this year, not only did stocks sell off, but bonds sold off. So as an investor, you have fewer kind of degrees of freedom. Uh, so I think it is a good time to, to be cautious with a part of your portfolio, even as on the margin, you may be looking to buy, to add to some equities and some other portions of the risky market. It's just as weird volatility. to be talking slowdown with unemployment where it, where it is and all the anecdotal evidence. Maybe that's a maybe that that catches up later. Maybe. Well, and that's what the Fed. NFIB. Sure. What right. and can, uh, maybe corporate confidence. Maybe it'll be reflected right. next month or something. Right. Corporate confidence also, by the way, with all these corporate debt fears, you have these incentives being created for CEOs to pay down debt, mm -hmm. to show that they have a strong balance sheet, to show that they're not overinvesting. So that can work against, you know, future growth uh, expectations. Well.